So I think I think it has to do with the fact that they come on the beach for such a short period of time. And so I suspect it's a way for better. So the first step is to uh, do what we call an initial stick. So I go up with a fairly, uh, the more powerful sedative called Telazol, and I actually stick her in the muscle. They have a big swimming muscle on the side here. The goal is to get that into the muscle, and then that takes about 10 minutes for it to work, for her to be sedated. And then we go up and um, we set an intravenous line and a big vessel in the back, and from there we can give her small doses of a, of a less powerful sedative just to keep her from moving around. Okay, so this is our uh, satellite tag. This is the uh, the latest device. It's a GPS. Arts and crafts. <laughs> What we're fundamentally interested in is how these animals deal with the changing climate. The oceanography is driven by climate. Uh, the currents, the wind patterns, all those things drive primary production and the food resources in the ocean and what aggregates their prey. And so we're interested in where these animals go, uh, what they find, how hard they work, and how that's changed by the changing uh, oceanography and the cl changing climate patterns. We have now six years worth of data where we have literally several hundred tracks. In fact, this female we just tagged, we've tagged her previously. Well, so we can look at what her behavior was over a normal year, and now we'll be able to see how does her behavior change in an El Nino year, when resources should be harder to find or more dispersed, or uh, basically they work much harder during an El Nino year. So we're trying to see how these animals will respond to these changing climatic factors.
So here we are at Año Nuevo, and these are tracks of female elephant seals. The, these red tracks are the shorter trip to sea, that is post-breeding, where the female spends two to three months at sea. And these longer tracks are the post-molt, which is what we just deployed. So that's about an eight-month trip to sea. Oh. <laughs>